Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be doing Top 5 White Funko Pops. So let's get started. Okay guys, so first up I actually have Max from Where the Wild Things Are. Now I know this one doesn't look completely white, but this one does have a white, he's got like a white kind of like monster outfit on, and I think this character is awesome. It's actually one of the first characters in the book series, this might even be the first one. But as you can see here he's got his white pajamas on, which looks really neat, and on the back you can see more white here. And then he's even got the gold crown on, which looks really cool. It's kind of a metallic-ish kind of color. And then he's got his staff in his hand with the tail. I really like that tail, because if you look at it, it's not just one gray color. If we zoom in here, you can see that it's very detailed and kind of like cut up a bit. As well as up here, it's got kind of like bumps on it. Just let that focus, hold on. It's got more bumps on it to kind of show you guys like that it is kind of like softer. And then I do like how pointy the crown is as well. Now guys, for the second pop, I actually have Insane Snowball. Now this is the Target exclusive, the one with the key, and he's looking angry. I really do like this character, and Secret Life of Pets was a really good movie. It's a cartoon, of course, and I like the way the key looks on him. You can kind of see it there. Hold on, just let it... Of course, it's not focusing. There we go. You can see the key. It's like he, he chewed it up and made it look like a key, because it's still got the end of the carrot on it. As well as his ears are huge. Also, guys, it's hard for this one to focus just because of how small he is compared to the screen. There we go. His eyes look really cool. I like the way he looks. Also, guys, um, it's kind of becoming spring, so Easter is coming. So top five Easter bunny or top five bunny Funko Pops could be coming soon. As well as guys, I love how big his ears are compared to his body. They're almost taller than him. His tail's super fluffy and circular. I like that. And there's not much to him because he is a pretty short character. But all in all, I love this guy. Here, guys, I have Boba Fett prototype. Now this is the one from Star Wars, and this was actually exclusive to Walgreens. Now, Walgreens has some great exclusives, but I can never seem to find them, and this was actually one of the ones that I happened to find. Actually, my parents got it for me for Christmas, and I think this one's really cool. I like the way how it actually looks like a real prototype pop character. I know this is also part of the movies, but this does look like a real prototype because there's only a certain amount of colors, and also some prototypes come with like an off-white and another white there, so it looks really cool, but this is completely white because it is a prototype. Um, I like his helmet, how it's got the T figure on it, as well as the almost like an antenna with a bit of a black part up top. It looks looks really cool. As well as his gun is pretty much the only thing that's not white on him. But all in all, guys, this is a great pop, and I'm glad I picked this one up. So for the fourth character, I actually have another Star Wars one. I couldn't do this video without doing the Wampa, just because he's a snow character, and snow is, of course, white, and Wampa is completely white. The only thing that's not white on him is actually his mouth, his nose, his eyes. Pretty much the just, you know, the features on him that isn't the fur. Um, this character is super awesome, though, and I love the way he looks. Here, let me back it up a bit. There we go. You guys, honestly, I love the arms on him as well as his head. And this is a bobblehead, of course, but I don't know how I feel about the six-inch bobbleheads. They're kind of big and clunky like they are with this kind of uh, bobble-ish part. And I like the way his tusks look. And I actually did a review on him just recently, so you guys can click that little eye in the corner there if you guys want to watch that. It was a fun one. I went out in the snow and reviewed him. Just because we had a bit of like almost like a bl like a mini blizzard over by our house But these ones are I, I'm glad they didn't do the full eyes and they did kind of like the slanted ones to make them look a little bit more angry As well as how his like his eyebrows pop out a bit to make him look even more angry So last but not least I have bullseye Batman now this actually came in the two pack with zebra Batman But this one is even whiter than the other one so I like this character even better Well it fits even better for this uh, top five as well um, the bullseye on him is actually very clean. I believe that's a decal and not paint, which is even nicer. As well as his kind of like undies here. He's got his underoos on. They're underwear. That's fun to wear. Um, I also like how the really only part that's not black and white is his mouth here, which looks really nice. And there's not too much paint bleeding onto it besides this right here where his nose is. That's the only part that's going over, but that's not even that bad. And then on the back, guys, it's completely white, except for the bullseye down here, which looks really clean and really nice. And I, I love this character, too. This one's also exclusive to Hot Topic with the Zebra Batman. But anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Top Pops. Top 5 White Funko Pops. You guys can pick these up at your local store. None of these are retired. But anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Top Pops. Thanks for watching.